and get your kiss on. Every kiss begins with K. Yeah, I'm sorry. Okay. Good. Good. All right. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. All right. What's up? What's up? How are you? I'm good. That's good. Why is it much bigger than me? This chair like sits <laughs> down too much. I need to. What is this video? Um, you're gonna like interrogate me? Oh, nah, nah. That was another video. Oh, we're scrapping that video. Nah, you already, you already passed the test. I can already see that you're potential hubby for my daughter. What's up, my quesadillas? Back with the brand new. Fresh, state-of-the-art, high-quality, top-of-the-art, high-class, world-class video. Today, I'm going to be talking with my little sister's boyfriend, Naoki. Yeah, he's from New York. He came here to visit my little sister for the holidays. It's kind of interesting to me because I first learned about him and my sister dating like a year ago. They were just FaceTiming, and then my sister, her name's On, she was just like, oh, this is my boyfriend. I was like... What the fuck? I don't even know what I thought. I was just like, okay, cool. But then a year later, they're still together. So I'm kind of like thinking, oh shit, this is kind of legit. They start dating in middle school. Like what kind of middle school relationship lasts more than two weeks? You know, there's obviously something special going on here. So I wanted to talk to Naoki about the relationship. What's going on between him and my sister? Like what, what are the justifications in which as to therefore, how are they still together? First of all, is there anything you want to say about yourself? Like I'm Naoki Sekine. Um, I'm from New York. I was born there. I play sports. I like soccer. I like stacking cups. Yeah, that's pretty much it. Yeah, he's a professional cup stacker, which is yeah. kind of cool. Also, he has really thick thighs. I'm 14. I'm um, Gemini. You're Gemini? Yeah, I think. I'm a scorpion. Oh, that's cool. All right, so how did you meet my sister? Just give me the whole rundown. Everything. Everything, go. Basically, he made a video on him like being Buddhist and going to like this uh, Buddhist like conference thing. When I, I went there too, when he went, and like I heard people saying that he was a YouTuber and all. So like after the conference was over, I searched up his YouTube channel. A couple days later, he uploaded his I'm Buddhist video and I saw this girl in the airplane for like a second. And so basically I decided to go on his Instagram, go on his following and search up Simmons and I found her. So I just, I followed her and then I started watching her lives and stuff. And then we started DMing each other and Snapchatting each other. We just kept on doing that FaceTiming and stuff. And then eventually we met in August last year 2018 and then now I'm here so that's it that's basically it what kind of snapchats you know like hi hi yeah like like how? asking like questions about each other you know mm -hmm. okay so how long have you officially been dating? I asked her to be my girlfriend on August 14th, 2017. So that's like a year and like four months, Damn. five months. How did you just maintain this relationship for a year, especially long distance? And you're so young. That's kind of crazy to me. Yeah, we kind of just like clicked, you know, I asked her out like after a couple of days, I stayed on our lives for like hours and hours because like, you know, that shit was kind of cute. And then I got to know her. We FaceTime every day. So it's like, we're together. And then when we meet, it's like, fun. Because like, you look forward to it. And it's like, more special, I guess. Instead of like, seeing each other every day. It makes it, the time that we meet, more special. I yeah. Guess. Do you think if this wasn't long distance, mm -hmm. it would still, you know, work out the same way? Or you think it would have like, crash and burn real quick? It's kind of hard to say. Yeah, I guess you don't know. Yeah. That's kind of cool how, like, you found a dude's YouTube, saw his little sister in the video, basically FBI investigated on Instagram to find that little sister, slid in her DMs, and locked it in. Yep. Most people don't believe it. That's kind of impressive. I'm not even going to lie. What kept you guys together for so long? Long distance and all that, you know? Probably talking, like, every second of the day. You talk every second of the day? Yeah, pretty much. Almost you're, like, swimming practice so you, i know you guys facetime that's like a nightly routine kind of thing probably yeah. during school you would just like message kind of yeah we text 
Snapchat. On Snapchat. Doesn't it get boring, like, talking all the time? No, not really. It's pretty fun. We, like, tell each other what we're doing, like, what happened during the day. If you had to give advice on other youngsters in a relationship or or any other long-distance people in a relationship, what would you... What would your advice be? Don't leave each other on red. Or, like, go, like, a long time without talking to them. Or else, like, I don't know why, but sometimes when, like, she doesn't answer me or something, like, if her phone dies, I kind of get worried. Like, I feel like she's, like, dead or something. Yeah. Yeah. Especially if, like, if she was, like, in a bad mood or something. Yeah. Gets me worried. So, like, check up on them. Have you ever left her on red? Maybe if, like, my phone died. Yeah. Probably not on purpose, though. Has she left you on red? A lot. When she leaves you on red, what do you do? Uh, I, like, leave her a message to, like, text me after. I'll be like, your phone probably died, but I'll see you later. Like, you can text me after. I saw my sister's phone. Uh-huh. She had a pic of you as a baby. On oh, it. yeah. So, what's your screensaver? Mine's, uh... Wait, is it turned <laughs> off? It's, it's turned, turned off. turned off. Oh. <laughs> That's us when she came over and we were in New York City. I saw my sister's phone and you had each other's Instagram accounts. Like, so you could see each other's. Yeah. I think that's kind of interesting. Like, yeah. why, why do you do that? When she was here in August at my house, we were at like a seafood restaurant. Okay. And then after, I was just like, here. And then, like, she put her Instagram in. And I was like, you can put mine in yours like I put mine in hers. So, like, I don't know. There's really no reason. We just kind of, like, didn't. Has there been times where, like, you, like, saw some dudes DMing her and then you had to like message back you're like get out the way she my girl uh yeah oh shit. so you guys like you guys trust each other yeah we trust each other that's probably the most important thing huh yeah in long distance you have to trust each other because you're not always with each other yeah but I could I know I could trust her has she done anything to break your trust or not no no hmm? That's good. Well, you're here now. Mm -hmm. You spent Christmas with us. Yep. Today's New Year's. Yep. You leave in two days. Yeah. So the third. So what are you planning on doing for your last two days here with my sister? Uh, probably just like hang out with each other, going to the beach. What are you gonna do at the beach? Uh, walk. Uh, take pictures. Uh, stack my cups. Rubik's cube. Look at each other. Hug. Yeah, that's it. That's it. And, uh... What does that mean? Knitting? No. Like... Pretend this is her face. This is my face. And, like... Like, like one. Like... One kiss. That's it. Just, like... Not like like even less than a peck. You know what? You're a good boy, so. Oh. I'll let you do that. Oh, thank you. But that's it. Mhm. Mm All right. Yeah. Under one condition. Yeah. You gotta call me senpai. Okay, senpai. Is there any problem going on in the relationship right now that maybe I can help because I'm a love guru. Mhm. Mm I'm literally like a relationship yeah. god, oh, yeah. as as some would mm -hmm. say. Mhm. Mm so you can you know if you have any problems you can let me know like, yeah. what, what's up mm -hmm. is anything maybe how to you know do anything how to how to talk in a certain way how to like anything hmm. can you like show me like a proper way you would think to like hold a hand oh yeah for sure like, i i do it all the time with her oh but it's kind of like she's like oh, this is uncomfortable like get off yeah it's kind of yeah. kind of awkward mm -hmm. i got you oh, yeah all right so there you You just kind of want to like get it like really locked in there. Yeah. <laughs> this is a solid handshake. So, uh, kind of get it in like deep. Get it in like deep. Yeah. Get it to the point where you can, you can make <laughs> fart noises with it. <laughs> <laughs>
If you can make fart noises with it, no, that's a good handhold. All right. Anyway. Thank you, senpai. Me and my girlfriend. Mm-hmm. We're back in freshman year. We used to just hold pinkies. Oh. Like this. Seems easier. Yeah. So we just did this. If your hands sweaty or like it's kind of hard to mm -hmm. hold hands, just yeah. do this. That's good. Yeah. Well, I taught you how to handshake. Mm-hmm. You know. Helped you out with, you know, your family problems. Yeah. I think, uh, I think you and An's relationship is pretty cute. It's pretty mm -hmm. good. Seems pretty healthy, you know. I wish you the best. Thank you. I'm sure you and An will go far. Mm-hmm. Very far. Well, thanks for talking to me today. You're welcome. Hopefully everything works out and, uh, mm -hmm. yeah. Go get him, tiger. Get out of here, young calf. You guys should uh, cop some merch. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. The merch is right there. Go check it out on K dot F. Yep. All right, on. You're next. So what's up, sis? Nothing much. Can't tell you a secret. What? <laughs> Barn. <laughs> so what's your perspective of, you know, the relationship? How did it start? How did everything, you know, give me the rundown? We went to a Buddhist conference and you made a video about it. And Naoki watched it. And he saw me and then he followed me and then he DM'd me and then, yeah. No, you DM'd me. What are you saying? You DM'd me first. Stop talking. So why, why did you like? Him. What do you think uh, Naoki likes about you? I actually have no idea. I ask him that every day. I guess he looks like foot. What do you like about Naoki? Everything. Really? Mm -hmm. Uh, not really. I mean, sometimes he smells like a hamburger, but... And I don't like hamburgers, but that's fine. So, like, since I'm a love guru, is there any, you know, problems going on from your side that maybe you want some help on no we don't have any problems you guys started dating in eighth grade now you're a freshman what do you think made it last so long we're striving for the same goals i saw that you had like naoki's instagram on your phone you guys like both have each other's accounts what's up with that so some people will say like that that's like you know that's like too much and that's like obsessive or that's like like you should just be able to trust each other you know what i mean actually you know what though i guess if you both do it then it's like you're both just obsessing the same amount so it's like a good i don't call it obsessing like i'm not like i don't trust him or anything like i don't even go on his account sometimes yeah <laughs> Sometimes, <laughs> nah, no, but like sometimes when he's like talking to some like person, I just go on his thing and then I understand what he's talking about, you know? Yeah, have you ever caught him like talking to a girl on in the DMs, like anything fishy going on? No, he, he doesn't talk to any girls, except me. Would you say Naoki is not the best with girls? I'm a weird girl, so like, like I'm not like other girls, you know what I'm saying? That's the most <laughs> cliche thing I've ever heard. <laughs> Every girl says I'm not like other nah. girls. What makes you so weird? What makes you so different, unique, and special? I don't know. Bruh. Honestly, Naki's not the best with girls. What makes you think that? Well, I mean, like, what he's doing right now. <laughs> 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 like, before we started talking, he wasn't talking to anyone. So he's just, like, a lone wolf. And he told me, like... Oh, wait. Never mind. I won't say that. Let's what? Oh, uh, you mean about... Oh Whoa. no, I was saying you don't have any friends. <laughs> you what? <just> <laughs> if you had advice to other people, maybe doing long distance or like maybe any relationship advice in general, what would you say? You know, my swim friend told me this. So she was like, don't be mad at someone like and go to like sleep or something. Mm. Like don't get mad at them before you like. Yeah, don't sleep, sleep on it. But I don't know. I think that's like pretty important because like especially like long distance, anything could happen to them and you don't know. Yeah. If they're mad at you, then you don't know what they're doing now. Like what if they're trying to kill themselves? Like I don't know. That just got real deep for I no know. reason, but I mean, or like, like you leave them red or something, you're like mad at them, and then you go to sleep, and then one of, the, if one of us dies, then you would regret it, like for your. Yeah, own if life. something happens. Why the? I know. I thought the point was more like, 
don't go to sleep mad at them because then they'll like you'll like wake up mad and it'll kind of just like linger that madness will linger like it's better to like talk about it not oh. like <laughs> oh, I wasn't thinking about that. not not like oh don't be mad at them because they're gonna die whenever there's like tension or any time there's madness or like anytime someone's mad or sad like don't just like sleep on it don't just like ignore it you know what i mean like actually like yeah. confront it because then it like clears the air yep definitely anything else you want to say cop the new merch hey now Key can come back. Okay. Well, thank you guys for watching. I don't even know what this video was. I kind of just wanted to go deeper into my little sister's relationship. Like, what's going on? Maybe if there's anything I could learn from it. Maybe if there's anything you guys can learn from it. Maybe there's anything they can learn from it. From me. Because I'm a love guru. So, I don't know. Maybe this video was, uh... Pointless. But I hope you guys enjoyed it anyway. Make sure to like and subscribe and click the little ding dong to know when I upload. And I like... Love.